welcome you all in my presentation. My patient, 48 years old migrant worker from Saudi Arabia, underwent PCI to RC in 2014. Now he presented with non stmi while visiting Bangladesh. His risk factor for hypertension, ECO shows regional wall muscle abnormality, ejection fraction 33%. Keating clearance was good. This is ECG. As his angiography shows, trifurcated left main severe stenosis, Medina 111, in involving the LAD, LCX, and RAMAS. LED was 9 stenosis in proximal segment, starting from its origin, giving some collateral to RCA. Ramos was 80 to 90 stenosis in proximal segment, starting from its origin, LCA is non-dominant and totally occluded. RCA was dominant vessel, multiple lesion through entire length of RCA, including ISR. So you advise him uh, CABG, but as patient was a migrant worker, patient and his family refused CABG. So after discussion with the clinic heart team, we planned for stage PCI. First we tackle RCA with deploying two, is, two, two DS. This is the final result. Then after one week, we planned for PCI to leap into LED and RAMAS. We take EBU7 French for left. This is the angiography. Then both vessels were wired and predilated with 220 balloon, NC balloon. So we took left into LED run. And it shows classification in and proximal LED. And stenosis in severe stenosis in the distal part. You can appreciate nice OCT picture. As I'm short in time, so I this is a lap into Rama's OCT run. It also shows calcification in distal lap main and proximal part of Rama's. So pedalate the, with the scoring balloon, 2, two, two into 10 in Rama's and 2.5 millimeter and 12 millimeter in LED. And 2.75 to 12 millimeter scoring balloon for lap main to LED. Then again, we OCT ran from left into LED, and we found the bed was nicely prepared with some dissection. So we take, so we, we plan for two cent strategy: decay crush. First, we take 2.75 80 millimeter DS for MS, and three into 10 millimeter balloon for LED. We inflated as stands in 12 atmosphere and slightly pulled back and reinflated into L at 18 atmosphere. Then whole assembly was taken out and stand was cast by 2.710 NC balloon. S sorry, the crash was fast. I missed the slide. I crashed the balloon 3 into 10 millimeter NC balloon. Then rewired the LCX and our first kiss done 3 into 10 millimeter NC balloon in LED and 2.75 10 millimeter NC balloon and RAMAS. And we take 3 into 38 millimeter DS from left main to LED, inflated in 12 atmosphere. Reinflated and shows good distal runoff. So we port 3 into 3.5 millimeter 12 millimeter NC balloon and in left main. And our final kiss, 3 into 12 millimeter NC balloon for LED and 2.75 mm NC balloon for Ramas. So we push dilute the whole LED and pot with 4 into 8 mm NC balloon for left main. So we post procedure OCT done from left main to LED and OCT shows nice demonstration of stent. Stent was nicely opposed, no under expansion, but distal portion landed in, in a disease portion, but no dissection. So we plan for putting another stand in distal portion of LED. We take 2.75 into 14 mm DS in mid LED, in fact 14 atmosphere. Then again post spread OCT done, and it shows stand was nicely opposed in whole length 
no under expansion, no malopposition. This is a final result with good, good digital runoff. So, in severe trifurcate distal left main and calcification involving LAD and proximal ramus is very much challenging. While bed, bed preparation with NC balloon and scoring balloon is key issue in this case, two strand strategy like DK cash show good long term outcome. Proper balloon, proper kissing, pot in report essential for long term outcome. And intercorn imaging optimize the result immediate and long term. So, we believe in teamwork. Our, pro, our men, mentor, Professor Fuzilas Malik, always says our strength is team. So thank you from NHF team.